All right, this video is going to demonstrate how to get hooked up to Firestore. So what I've done is basically repeat the setup we did for Firebase Auth in the sense of going up to Tools, Firebase. Yeah, I created, first of all, I created this as a project called Delete Me. Um, went to authentication, email, password, authentication. I hit connect here because I think that this might actually configure something on the server. It doesn't configure it totally, but I skipped this at one point and had some troubles. So that's what I did. Uh, on this side with a uh, Gradle that looks like this. So I'm looking for Firestore and for Core, and I'm picking the latest of both. Oh, I've got this set up for 28. Eh, whatever, I'll just leave that. Um, my uh, Java program, I, I copied some Firebase stuff here. So let's take a look at what's going on on this view of things. I had to manually download the Google-Services JSON file. So again, this looks a lot like uh, what we did um, what we did last time. I added an authentication. I actually added a user, um, you know, just for the fun of it. Um, okay, so now I want to get started with my database. So I come in here and it's like Cloud Firestore, is that what you want? Yes. Let's create a database. And then it gives you this sort of Faustian choice, start in locked mode or start in test mode. Uh, we'll start in locked mode. We're not going to do that for very long, though, because that would be a, a real bummer as far as testing is concerned. So um, gets back to me, and um, uh, um, the database is created. This is the uh, set of rules, and, and it's, it's not looking so good in terms of rights that are going to succeed. So this is um, my own uh, setup from a different um, project that I just looked up sort of how to do this. And now we're going to publish these rules. Um, we're going to allow reads writes if we have an authenticated user. So it's not great security, but it's not ridiculous security. We're not leaving everything completely open, and we're also not leaving everything completely closed. So that's that. I just want to show you storage, just because that's something you know we also want to do. We'll get started uh, by your default. Um, uh, your rules allow all reads and writes, but only if uh, the authentication is non-null which again is, is sort of not terrible. So there are no files here yet. Let's just check the rules. Yeah, if auth not null, that's actually a pretty reasonable default. Uh, I don't know why storage has that default and the database does not. Okay, so right now we've got nothing in here and then let's take a look. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. Um, let's take a look at the code that I, I pulled from the assistant. So this is, if you go back here, this was authentication. If you go all the way down, there's Firestore. Um, read and write documents. And so, you know, do, 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 do. There's some, some code here you can read about. And it starts with maps and it progresses up to objects. But let's just take a look at, at what this map is doing. So I just created a navigation view project. Um, and, you know, while I go over this, I will, this has to initialize. Okay, so uh, this is a, a map, and we have some um, keys and values, uh, like a good map should. And, uh... Um, actually, I, I hit I hit run for this thing, so I don't know if anything interesting is going to happen. But I want to uh, keep this guy online right now. It just looks looks like it's having some trouble connecting. Um, 
So we, we put in some keys and values. We grab an instance to the Firebase Firestore. Um, oh yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be all that interesting because uh, all we do is this. So we can take a look at Logcat, see what came, came up, nothing to upload or upload. Impossible. Uh, so this is just trying to add something to users. So let's see what happened. Uh, nope. Oh wait a minute. So this doesn't. This doesn't refresh automatically like the old Firebase did. Nope. Just add data. Nope. Oh, I keep doing that. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, we did not get anywhere with this. Document snapshot. Let's see. Let's see what. Oh, here we go. Insufficient. Oh, insufficient permissions. Cause yeah, cause I'm not logged in. Oh, duh. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty silly. So you know what? Let's let's, let's just let's just go for this. Um, let's go back to rules. So yeah, uh, you know, and I had some authentication code, but then I just took it out. Uh, because um, I didn't want to focus on that. So we'll allow all reads and writes. Take up to a minute to propagate, but let's speculate that that's not going to be an issue. And we will rerun Gradle building. It's on the ABK, so it's going to launch the activity. That's not going to be sort of where the action is. Um, let's see, document snapshot added. Uh, where is this? This is all, no, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's see. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Hey, it worked. So we added a collection of users, we added a document, and we added this map, born number 1815. So, you know, again, this, oh, geez, stop doing that. Um, this code is just, is just copied directly out of the, out of the assistant, but it was to show you sort of how you, how you set up, um, um, the database and setting up um, storage is is pretty similar. There's not there's not that much um, that's different that you have to do. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think that might be it because uh, you can also look in here for yeah the assistant and. There's storage as well. So, you know, upload and download a file. Um, that will that will help you uh, test out your connection to your Firebase. So there you go. Happy databasing.